Hello, hello, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. My name is Riley, and in today's video, we are back in FM23. We are starting a new series, and it is very, very exciting. We are going to be going with Tunbridge. Tunbridge is in the Vanarama National League South. And I know what you're thinking. Why Tunbridge? Well, I thought it would be cool. And what we're going to be doing is going to do a series a little bit different than what I've done before. Not quite a glory hunter. But essentially, I'm starting off as a basic manager and going to work my way up to win the Champions League. Kind of similar to Lelujo's non-league to legend, but it's going to be called Started from the Bottom. <sighs> so let's jump in. Tunbridge Angels will ring in their 75th season under a new manager in Rye Canuck. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football, blah, blah, blah. And I have a one-year deal worth 625. So... The series or this how this thing's gonna work is I can go anywhere I am not just confined to the likes of Tunbridge or England or Europe I guess I probably will stay in Europe but I don't have to I can go wherever the jobs are and I'll try to be realistic again kind of like non to legend and that I will pick places that make financial sense make sense if I was a real manager, whether it's going to a, a country that makes sense for me or going to a city, what have you. So let's jump in and see what's going on. So Tunbridge, I know literally nothing about them. I know they are the Tunbridge Angels. I know that they've been in the Vanarama South for the last four years, I believe. They when they got promoted, so that is fantastic. And I think currently in real life they're in tenth. So we'll see what we can do. So in this video we're gonna take a look at the uh, the squad, what we got here, and uh, yeah, hopefully get promoted. I I don't know what kind of possibility that we have of doing that, but we'll see. Looks like our first match is on August sixth against Weymouth. Very very exciting. So first things first. Financially, 42 grand. Nice. Uh, we are a semi professional club, so that is fantastic. 939 followers on Twitter. Very exciting. Well, not even Twitter, social media. Probably Twitter. Maybe Instagram. I don't know. But not very many. We'll get more. We'll get more. They do. Uh, yeah, that is fine. Semi professional. Not a problem. We will fix that. But there is some money in the bank. I know we don't have a transfer budget, but we do have a little bit of wage budget, which is good. And we have some space there as well, which is fantastic. But we should probably jump in and see what we can do as it comes to tactics. Uh, wing play. I do like me some wing play. And yeah, we'll go with that for now because we might as well do what they recommend. Yes, popularize that. All right, so the squad is not very big as I look at it. Not very big at all. We do have a under 18s, which is good. I don't think there's a lot of players in it that we have access to. Not very many at all. That's fine. Uh, what else? What else can we look at here? Facilities. Pitch. The pitch is good, which is awesome. Stadium conditions average. Fairly basic corporate facilities, basic training facilities, poor, th poor youth facilities, basic youth recruitment, fairly basic academy coaching. That's fine. That is fine. Affiliates. Do we have any affiliates? Can we look for a senior affiliate? Ugh. Why don't they ever want a senior affiliate? Like, come on. Um, I do not. I said skip. So let's skip. So we have room for a coach, uh, head of youth development, head of performance. We have room for two scouts. We have room for a head physio. Okay, so we do have some leeway when it comes to uh, probably. Uh, let's throw out a uh, for scouts. Not going to do director of football. Don't need one of them. What do we have as far as coaching staff already? We have one coach. Okay, 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 okay. Should we do a fitness coach maybe? 
And let's throw a thing out there for goalkeeper. And maybe head of youth development. And we'll just start we'll start there. And we'll go from there. <clears throat> Cause we do have to remember that we also don't have a lot of money, potentially. So yeah, that is fine. Okay, what am I doing here? Tactics. Okay, tactics. Am I gonna do it go with this? Probably it's wing play. Wing play is 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 good right do i want to go with an anchor uh i don't know maybe we'll start with that but let's take a look at this squad let's see who we are working with here do we not have a goalkeeper do we really not have a goalkeeper we do but he is not in the squad planner i probably need to move forward today well then Let's go forward a day, so then we can get a uh, whatever that thing is. All right, so the end of the current season, record a National League South top half finish, be competitive in the FA Cup, be competitive in the FA Trophy, and the season after that, reach the playoffs. Sure, whatever. That I can do. Well, I don't know if I can do that, but, you know, I'll, I'll try. I'll try. Okay, back to squad planner, please. What? Why? <clears throat> there we go. That is what I was hoping for. Okay, so we have a 28-year-old goalkeeper, Johnny Henley, 28 years old, like I just said, from Scottish. He's been with this team for a little while. He's been with them since they got promoted. Okay. So he's got a lot of non-league. He's originally with Reading, so that's that's kind of cool. Um, contract wise, what is he on? He's on a part-time contract, which makes sense because we are a part-time club, but not a bad first choice goalkeeper. Uh, okay. Center back, center back, center backs. We got three of them. <clears throat> Sonny miles is our, wow. He is old. He's been around for a while. Uh, 32 years old, Sonny miles. He, uh, yeah, he's, uh, Better on the block, to say the least. He's got good size, not a lot of pace, that's for sure. As one would expect with a 28-year-old. Ben Swift, 25, very, very exciting. And Jamie Fielding at 22 years old. He came on a free from the National League. That's exciting. Good for him. Well, that's not the, that's not the worst. Honestly, this, this isn't like the worst back four that I've... I've seen. I, I I I need another. I could use another center back and or right back, left back. Okay. <laughs> I I need some improvements. I need to get on the uh, free transfers. Uh here's a good player though. Good midfielder, Lewis Guard. He is 22 year old English player. He's considered a star player for us. He was with South End not too long ago actually, and actually played for them quite a bit in League One even interesting but he is a four and a half star current ability player and he's a player that you kind of wish you could sign to a normal contract but alas i cannot but yeah good player nonetheless um other midfielders midfield's actually a area of strength uh jamie taylor at 20 years old welsh player was at crystal palace bristol city before that not bad uh, he can be a ball-winning midfielder, not a playmaker, so that's fine. Scott Wagstaff, again, more of a, a winger, I guess, but he can be a, a playmaker in the middle of the pitch, which is good. Again, not very pacey, but that is non-league for you. Uh, other guys, Doug Loft, he's got potential there. I could be a playmaker as well. Um, Tommy, Tommy, yeah, I... Do not want to say his name. Tommy Fogg. What's to say that? Fogg. Yeah, I, I I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try it. Twenty four years old though, so I kinda wanna use him. Tom Parkinson. He is worth zero. He's not on a contract. He's player assistant manager. Interesting. Okay, cool. Wingers. Uh we do have a good winger here. Here's the uh he's also our striker. Ruben Suarez Jr. Not that great, but he's got pace. So that helps. That makes up for this. 22-year-old Portuguese player, and uh, he's been he's been everywhere. 
but more recently he's been in the championship in Scotland getting playing time so that is fantastic so honestly what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to just look to see what kind of free players we can get we need the scouts first because we don't have any uh scouts we don't have any guys but yeah we can like look through the list of I know I shouldn't do this, but bring in trials. Two week trial. Yeah. Just trial guys. Try to get people in the door and honestly try to fill up the squad a little bit because our squad is tiny. So let's just take a quick little looky loo to see what the. Uh, where am I? Season preview. Where do they have us finishing? Ooh, bottom. 16th that's not that's not good that's not good at all we can do better than 16th let's be honest here let's be honest so the season starts august 6th so we have a few weeks to try to get things organized here when it comes to scouting bringing trialists yeah looking at training a little bit not much i can do for training not a, not a whole lot of options there. Uh, yeah, I can't really do a whole lot of anything. But we will put this as our priority for training. Get that a little bit higher up. And we'll see what happens. So stay tuned. I'm going to just go through this next little while. Bring in a bunch of trialists. Try to sign those coaches or scouts. And try to uh, see if we are prepared for this upcoming season in the Venerema National League South. So stay tuned. We have made it all the way to the end of the... Well, I was going to say the end of the transfer window. That's not true because there is no transfer window. But we are just about to have the Weymouth match, which will be the next episode. So business-wise, oh, I spent too much money. Not great. Not great at all. Oof, oof, oof. They're looking to go into debt real quick here. That is... That is not that is not good. Not good at all. So transfer wise, we did bring in some guys. I don't remember bringing in all these guys. I guess these are guys that I brought in. Nope, not guys I touched. Uh, let's see. This guy did. Brandon Thomas. He's a center back. Five star potential ability. Came from West Ham's uh, youth setup. So that is exciting. Again, they're all just non-contracts, though, so it's like nothing crazy. Another non-contract player comes from Watford. Very exciting. Uh, he can play up top, which is good. He's got a little bit of pace. Max Thompson, same deal. Yeah, a little bit of pace. Play up top. I just showed him twice. That is embarrassing. Uh, Owen Hickson. I do like his uh, playmaking ability. He will uh, play in the middle of the pitch as a playmaker. He's got good pace. Passing's not bad. First touch is good. Yeah, happy with that. Charlie Walker, uh, goalkeeper. And he comes from Gillingham. So, yeah. Again, nothing nothing crazy. Ollie Merch provides good depth all on the back four, like the back line. Uh, he's got good pace, accelerations, tackling. So hopefully he can develop into a good player. And last but not least is Eddie Jackson. Again, another uh, depth option at the back. And uh, we'll see what he can become. But that is pretty much that. We're going to start this season. And hopefully we can uh, get a little bit of money and see what happens. And the best way to get money is to win. So let's see if we can make it through the Vanarama National League South in one season. One season. Let's we'll see what happens. What's going on here? Ah, scout, non-contract scout, and Sam Carter. Very exciting. So thank you very much for watching this video. I will come back in the next video with the match against Weymouth. Should be very exciting. And yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed that we have a good good season. And this should be a fun series. So let me know in the comments what you think of the series and what will happen. Yeah, Tunbridge to begin. Where will we end? Who knows? But I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.